we, we had an AG's conference out in Montana, and Steve came in as governor and, and gave a welcome and gave a speech, and, and we talked about it. Yeah, and that was when I wasn't even, like, my plan wasn't to finish uh, as governor and run for president, uh, but what we saw in 2016 made me start thinking about it. And yeah. I think that was probably 17 or 18 when you were out. I, I'm thinking it was the summer, it was the summer, and I yeah. think 17 yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, I, you know, Iowa is, is so important. I, I, I talked about Iowa, and, but also talked about, you know, um, you know, he should he should do what he wants to do. I mean, is this something? This is huge. It's a huge step. Uh, but if it's something he wants to do, he should he should jump in and, and 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 do it. What is something that any presidential candidate should know about campaigning in Iowa, particularly after you know the age of Donald Trump, this this political moment that we're in right now? Well, you know, I think that the the, the basic principles of before of. of you know, Dave Nagel had the great quote of organize, 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 get hot at the end. I mean, that's, that's the ideal. And, and you don't have a total control over how well you organize, uh, how well it turns out. And you have little control over getting hot at the end. But, you know, I, th I, think, I think getting out and talking to people and listening to people. And Steve is so strong at that. He, his ability to connect uh, has been a big key in, in winning in Montana, which, you know, has a lot of rural voters and, and working class voters. Um, so I think I think he's really attuned to to, to do well in Iowa potentially uh, because he connects with people so well.